you should be knowing these basic conversions. So, let me write 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So, from this, if you want to, if it's a good idea to draw this bubble, so this is meter and this is centimeter. So, if you want to change from meters to centimeters, if you want to change from meters to centimeter, you times it by 100. And if you want to change from centimeters to meters, you divide by 100. I remember like this meter to centimeter, the number that you're going to get is going to get bigger because you know one meter is 100 centimeter. So the number is bigger by how many times? 100 times. So from meters to centimeter, you have to multiply by 100. But if you go the other way around, me meter has a, sm a smaller number. So this is, if you think about a number, this is a bigger unit, but a smaller number. So this one is one hundredth of a centimeter. You can say one meter is one hundredth of a centimeter. So this is how you convert. Okay. Now one meter is also how many millimeters? Okay, so now before that, let me write centimeter first. One centimeter is 10 millimeter 10 millimeter now from this you can make up this so from centimeter if you want to change into millimeters the same logic this has got a this is 10 times the number is 10 times bigger than this so it times this by 10 and if you want to change from millimeters to centimeter you divide by 10. Divide by 10. Okay. The next is, let me write all, both of them together. So you can say 1 meter is 100 centimeter. Okay. And 100 centimeter is how many millimeters? You know 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter. So 100 centimeter would be 1000 millimeter. Now from this, if you want to make up this bubble, so it's from meter, you want to change it to centimeter, you want to change it to millimeter. So well, you know from meter to centimeter, you times it by 100, and from centimeter to millimeter, you times it by 10. And if you go the other way around, this is divided by 100 and this will be divided by 10. Okay, hopefully I'm not confusing you. But if you want to do one big jump from meter to millimeter, so let me use a different color. If you want to jump from meter to convert from meter to millimeter. So this is a jump of 100 and then a jump of 10. So that is here to times it by 1000. And that's what you can see, 1 meter is 1000 millimeters. So if you want to change from, this is millimeter, sorry, I should write mm. mm millimeter, and if you want to go backwards from millimeter to meters, you have to divide by 1000. Okay, and finally, uh, what do you do? What do you know? You know that one kilometer, one kilometer is thousand meters. So from kilometers, if you want to change into meters, what should you do? From kilometers to meters, you times it by thousand, and from meters to kilometers, you divide by thousand. So let us take some example to illustrate what I mean. So let's look at first the first example. If you want to change 190 centimeters to say meters, how many meters here? So I look at the I it's always good to draw again if you're struggling. So we know meter to centimeter. 
1 meter is 100 centimeters. So this way you have to times it by 100. And from centimeter to meter, you have to divide by 100. So to answer this, this is 190 divided by 100. Okay, which is, I know is 1.9, but if you're struggling, you can use your calculator. So when you run 190 divided by 100 equals 1.9 meters. This is 1.9 meters. Okay, so let me take one more example. You want to change, say, 3,000. 456 millimeter into meters. Suppose if this is the question. Okay. This is millimeters to meters. So you should know the conversion. So if you don't, it's always good to uh, write. So you know, you should know one meter is 1000 millimeter. Milli stands for one thousandth, so one millimeter. So this implies what? What is millimeter? One millimeter is one thousandth of a meter. This is what milli stands for. Milli stands for one thousandth. So you know. So you know. So using this, you can make up this. So you know this is meter and this is millimeter. One meter is thousand millimeter. So you have to times this by thousand. So if you want to go from millimeters to meters, you have to divide by thousand. So that's the question. You want to change from millimeters to meters. So use the calculator, 3456 divided by 1000 which is 3.456 the answer is 3.456 of a meter okay so now if you want to change uh, say 905 905 meters to kilometers so always good practice to write the conversion. You know one kilometer is 1,000 meter. So make up a column. So always good to draw pictures so that pictures make sense. If one picture is equal equivalent to 1,000 words. So this is kilometers to meters. So you have to times this by 100. Thousand. So if you want to go the other way around, so from meter to kilometer, you have to divide by thousand. So once you keep drawing few of these pictures, you don't even need to draw this. So you know how to whether you have to multiply or divide, and that's the main problem. What do you do? Are you going to divide or multiply? If I give you formulas, you're never going to remember. So always draw, write this uh, conversion, and draw this diagram and decide. So this will be 905 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.905, point 0.905 kilometers. Let me finish off with the last question. Okay, if you have a, a bus, suppose you want to change 0. Point uh, 0095, 0095 kilometers, 2 meters, 2 meters. So we just saw kilome kilometers to meters. So we know from kilometers to meters, 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. So that's what we want. From kilometers, we want to change into meters. So you times it by 1,000, 0 0.0095 times 1,000. This is 9.5 meters, 9.5 meters.